March 6th, amid a crowd of paltry things, in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses. 2 Corinthians 6, 4. It takes almighty grace to take the next step when there is no vision and no spectator, the next step in devotion, the next step in your study, the next step in your reading, in your kitchen, the next step in your duty when there is no vision from God, no enthusiasm and no spectator. It takes far more of the grace of God, far more conscious drawing upon God to take that step than it does to preach the gospel. Every Christian has to partake of what was the essence of the Incarnation. He must bring the thing down into flesh and blood actualities and work it out through the fingertips. We flag when there is no vision, no uplift, but just the common round, the trivial task. The thing that tells in the long run for God and for men is the steady persevering work in the unseen. And the only way to keep the life uncrushed is to live looking to God. Ask God to keep the eyes of your spirit open to the risen Christ, and it will be impossible for drudgery to dampen you. Continually get away from pettiness and paltriness of mind and thought out into the 13th chapter of St. John's Gospel.